Hello. So nice to see you. Really nice to see you too. What time is it there? Uh, it is exactly 35 minutes past six o'clock. Okay. So what about there? Here it's uh, five past two. Mm -hmm. We're uh, just finished lunch. It's our lunch time here. Yeah. So I would like to start the session. Uh, but before I share this a video about my country, so I would like to ask my students to, to introduce themselves. So later I can share with a video. Uh, so shall I start? Yes, yes, you may start. Yeah. I'm going to so, put my students on the camera, okay? Yes, please. So Jagadish? Yes. Jagadish, are you uh, there? Yes, sir. Jagadish. Yes. Don't ask. Yes. But just introduce yourself. Okay, sir. Hi. Hello, ma'am. Hello, friends. You can say. Hello, friends. Hi. My name is Gatu Jagdish. My name is Gatu Jagdish. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching TV. My future aim is next to become an army person. Okay. Nagalakshmi, it's your turn. Yes, sir. Hello, friends. My name is Nagalakshmi. I am studying in 7th grade. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. My future ambition is to become an English teacher. What a great pronunciation do you all have. Great English. Yeah. Thank you. Kaushik, it's your turn. Hello, friends. My name is Kaushik. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching TV. My future ambition is to become a police officer. Hello, ma'am. Hello, I love you. I am Neeraja. I am studying ninth grade. My hobbies are playing games and watching TV. My future ambition is to become a nurse. Hello, ma'am. My name is Lohita Girja. I am studying seventh grade. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, dance, and watching TV. My life ambition is to become an English teacher. Washita. It's your turn. Yes, sir. Hello, ma'am. Hello, all of you. I'm Vashita. I'm studying 98. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching TV. Next. Vedasri. Hello, ma'am. My name is Vedasri. I'm studying in 9th grade. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. My life, my life ambition is to become a doctor. Okay, fine, honestly. Fine, honestly. Fine, honestly. I'm studying. You have to turn your Hello, camera sir. Turn your camera on. We are unable to see you. Try to adjust the camera. So it seems that we, she has a problem with her camera. Uh, yes. Have you adjusted the camera? Fine, honestly. OK. Uh, yes. So do it fast, because we are all, uh, we have to go to the next segment. So we Hi, have to open. Hi, ma'am. My name is Sai Nagasri. I'm studying sixth grade. My life, amb my life ambition is to become a software engineer. Okay, nice. Uh, now I would like to introduce. Uh, I would like to uh, share something about uh, Indian culture and tradition. India has a rich culture and tradition. 
So in this video that I am going to share right now, is going to give you a lot of information about the I'm sorry for uh, giving this disturbance. This is such a vast country. I could be anywhere in the world but Naya. It is every person's dream to be mesmerized by the beauty of the Taj Mahal. When you come here, you discover an instant comfort and delight for India. For me as a designer, I'm inspired by its timelessness. As a writer, I know that my chapter of India has only just begun. Food and travel are my passions. Thank you, I think. Here I am, playing the world class golf course in India. India has a power, a magic about it, that draws me back here each time. I can't wait to go back and discover more. This is my eighth time here, and it won't be my last. Citizens of just one nation who find ways to make home places that invite them. And India is not just incredible, India is acquirable. It won't just accept you, but fill you in with open arms, allowing your passions to find peace. India is a personal voyage. Profusion of everything for everyone. It may not have all that you see you really want, but it will give you the one thing that makes you richer. Thank you, I has made me believe in myself. Everywhere you go will have a secret to share, secret to share. Anyone could give you a memory to take back forever. Back forever. You'll never feel what someone else felt. Never see, see what someone else saw, someone else saw. There is no one in there for everyone and one. There are billions of Indians, and you will find yours, you will find yours. Discover, discover, find in there. That's truly all yours.
third video i am going to play and with this uh, i am going to end this uh, presentation incredible india i love my india we all know our countries we should know a lot about them that i can uh, play for you uh, if you don't mind uh, could you please uh, uh, share your video from your side is it possible now yes. Yes, yes. we're going to share um, a presentation that uh, we did just for you okay may i share the screen yeah. sorry may i share the screen yes yes i i will just come on girl yes. we're going to have some of the kids talking with you okay Yeah, sure. There, okay. Okay. I'm going to share the screen. Minus tem que olhar é para este lado. Ai, não era isso. So where is it? It's here. Okay. We're going to share some of our uh, culture, okay? Some of our things, our flag, and so on, okay? Portugal. Girls, boys, ready to go? Come on. So hello. Now we're going uh, going to present you a little bit of the Portugal tradition. You may say your names and your grade. So I'm Mariana and I'm in eighth grade. Uh, I'm Inês and I'm eighth grade. I'm Pilar and I'm eighth grade. Hello, I'm Nigel and I'm also in eighth grade. They are all from the same class, okay? All eighth grade. 12, 13 years old, right? <laughs> okay. So now we're going to show you uh, our flag. Uh, our flag is green and uh, red. The green part um, means hope, and the red is courage and bravery. Uh, now, our location. Portugal is uh, a coastal southern in, oh sorry, in southwestern Europe, and we're um, uh, by the side of Spain and the Ocean Atlantic. And our best known cities. 
So first we have Lisbon, that is the capital of Portugal. Uh, where you can see the map is in the center of Portugal. This is Portugal, right? And Atlant Atlantic Ocean here and Spain over here. In here, we have two pictures that uh, are the things that are most common when you go for a walk in Lisbon. You have the typical electric and the soft pillow. Uh, next, we have Porto. Uh, as you can see in the map, Porto is in the uh, north of Portugal. Uh, we are here, right? We're here, here. Lisbon, uh, Sintra, it's the city where we are in now. It's uh, near Lisbon. And Porto, it's another important city, but it's here uh, in the north of Portugal. And uh, here we have other two pictures um, of the same river. Uh, in the first one, you can see a little boat that are coming in the rivers of Porto and a little bridge. Uh, next, we have Braga. Braga is also in the north of Portugal. Uh, here we have some views of the project. Next we have Coimbra. That is in the transition of the north and the center of Portugal. Here we have the same river with some colorful boats that are typical from Coimbra and the little bridge. And for last, we have Faro, and the pictures that we are going to show is from Algarve, that is the most common uh, place where tourists go visit when they go to Faro. It's in the south of Portugal. And here we have uh, the beautiful beaches and some common houses, traditional houses, uh, with some colors. Uh, so now we are going to present the economy of Portugal. Uh, so imagine if you go to a restaurant uh, where uh, you have um, traditional Portuguese traditional uh, food, you probably have the sub prices. Uh, so, so we have tigers. Uh, first one is the zebra, uh, common in ten. Uh, Queijo da Serra da Estrela, that is a cheese. Uh, in seeds, uh, it's a mixture, it's a mix, mixture between sausages and chorizo. A measure of young fat, that is clam. Uh, Azeitonas, that is olive. Uh, now we are going to talk about the soups. Super de Pedras, that translated is uh, stone soup, and the soup has um, literally, literally the rock in it, how you can see in the image. So, uh, main dishes, main dishes. Vida portuguesa, que vida portuguesa is it's a typical dish from Portugal. It has a lot of meat, a lot of sausages, and vegetables. Uh, now we are going to talk about codfish dishes. Codfish is a traditional uh, dish in Portugal, uh, and we have a lot of dishes with it, like pastéis de bacalhau, bacalhau abras. And the Calaconatus. So, this is real sardine, Sardinha Asada. It's a typical dish from Portugal. Uh, now we have a horse pot that translated is like duck's rice. Francesia, that is a typical dish from Porto, not Portugal. 
for Valagaray, there is a dish with octopus. Let's carry on to dessert and sweets. So, first of Nata, a typical dessert from Lisbon. Arroz doce. Queijadas de Sintra. Doce fino do Algarve. Dom Rodrigo. Ovos moles de Aveiro. Cangló, there is actually a cake. Uh, and finally, the drink. So the drinks, um, the typical drinks are the wine and the most famous wine that we have here in Portugal is uh, from Porto. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. Thank you so much. Bye. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. So, my students, my students want to ask some questions. So, okay. Shall we start? Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on, girl. Thank you. The question. So, Rohita, ask your, ask your first question. Okay. okay, sir. Which schools are popular in Portugal, public or private? Um, uh, so, uh, the schools, uh, the most famous schools are, I think, are public schools, but people also uh, go to private schools. Mm -hmm. So, what about Lohita in India? In India, Lohita, can you answer to this question? What schools are popular in Africa? Can you enlighten? Pu public, public school. Public school. Okay. And uh, Nagalashmi, ask your question. Yes, sir. Can I ask one question? Yes, of course. What languages, what languages are spoken in your country? In our country, uh, we speak Portuguese, but in school we also have lessons of French and English. But uh, in general, in, in general, Europe, in Portuguese. Europe, in Europe, oh, we have it's... many languages, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Spanish, German, French, and so yeah. on and so on. <laughs> yeah. But most of us uh, usually can speak English, right? Oh, yeah. And French. And French. So, Nagalashmi, what languages are spoken in your school? Two languages. Hmm. Telugu is my what? mother tongue. Hmm. Telugu is my mother tongue. English is our international language. So, what about the national language, Hindi? You are speaking English, right? English. You speak English, right? You also speak English yeah. at school, Ari? Yeah? Uh, in fact, the most of my students uh, uh, don't speak English in school because they always use the regional language, Telugu. Uh, but only in the classroom, they speak English. Okay. Other than that, they speak always regional language. Mm -hmm. OK. So next, uh, how should it's your turn. Ask your question. What is Portugal famous for? Okay. Uh, sorry, can you repeat? I'm sorry. How should ask one more time? What is Portugal? What is Portugal famous for? Oh, uh, our football. Famous, uh, football, yes. yes football. Uh, in English, we play soccer, uh, but yeah. we say football. Yeah. So, how should ask? Do you know Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. so, he's, he's basically a famous, uh, famous player in the world. 
Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a very famous Portuguese football player. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, we know it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I ask one question, ma'am? What subject do your students learn at school? We learn history of Portugal. We learn Portuguese, English, and French as a language. We also do science, math, uh, math uh, chemistry. chemistry. Yeah, chemistry. chemistry. And basically, the chemistry and physics are arts. arts. Uh, we do a lot of uh, sports too. Mm -hmm. And you, what do you do at school? Yeah. So, Jagadish, you explain to them the subject that you learn at school, subject wise. First, first one is math, second one is English, third one is Telugu, fourth one is social, fifth one is Hindi, sixth one is science. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, you can ask the second question, right? I think we have, have you asked already? So, Neeraja, it's your turn. What games do you play? Uh, we have a lot of games and sometimes we even play games that are English and other nationalities. But I think our favorite game that we play here in school it's uh, soccer. Yeah. Okay. So, Nerja, what games do we play at school? Uh, can you explain to them? Volleyball, softball. Hi, Google. So, we play softball and volleyball. Okay, next. Uh, Bachita, ask your question. Do you have any question to ask? Yes, sir. Is there any uniform in your school? Can you repeat, please? Is there any uniform in your school? Uh, no, we don't use a uniform. Uh, just for PE, but for the rest of the school, we don't use it. Yeah. So what about our school? I have uniform. Do you like your uniform? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have the uniform. Most of my students have the uniform. And can you explain the color of the, for girls? Can you explain the color for the boys? Who can do that? Top color is violet and uh, pant is uh, blue. Okay. So cute. <laughs> okay, uh, next, let us see. Do you have any? Yes, sir. What is your favorite subject? Um, okay. Uh, my personal favorite subject is history, maybe, but because of the teacher. I don't know. <laughs> it's not really about the subject. It's more about how we learn. What about you? Uh, I have uh, my favorite subject. Uh, I think it's history, but I can also like uh, other subjects like arts, P, and yeah. Okay. Uh, my personal favorite is art. Uh, I don't really know, but maybe art. Yeah. So we have we have nine minutes time. So we have nine minutes left in the session. I think my students have completed their questions. Could you please ask any question from your side? Now in this uh, nine minutes, you can ask any question from your side. We are going to answer to them. Can you repeat, please? Oh, in our session, we have nine. In our session, we have oh, time. Oh, we have nine minutes. Okay. Yeah.
Okay. What are the questions that wanted to ask from our side? We have finished it. So you can ask any question from your side regarding our country's culture and tradition. So we are going to answer to them. Okay. So here is our colleague. And they are have some questions prepared actually. So you can come here. Okay. So hello. Uh, we we are going to do some, some questions. Uh, I hope you ask. My name is Diogo. My name is David. My name is Rita. And um, so the first question. Uh, the first question is. Uh, in which zone of India is your um, your school? Which Can part you... of India are you? What part of India are you? Where is the, your school? I got it. So, Lolita, can you say, can you answer to this question? What part of India do we belong to? Can you answer to this question? What province? Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh, and if you if you permit me a minute, I can share the, the province where we are living. So you can see this part in India, this is India, and we are living in this part, the yellow in color, you can see here, it is called Andhra Pradesh. So have you seen? Okay. Thank you. Andhra. Thank you. One more question? Uh, how are you? Uh, can you tell us about the uh, uh, regional uh, dishes that you have in the zona? The gastronomy, uh, the food, about your uh, typical dishes of your uh, part of uh, India. Oh, definitely. <laughs> So, so this is our typical Indian dish called biryani. Uh, it is this food with a lot of spices. As you look at the India is famous for spicy food. So look at these varieties. So they're all made with the spices. So many spices. Indian food itself is full of spices. Have you ever tasted the Indian food? So these are all pictures of Indian spices. Okay. And have you ever tasted the Indian food? Indian food. Um, now, uh, is this the first time you are talking to a Portuguese school? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I didn't catch your question. Could you please repeat? My thought. Uh, is this the first time you are talking to a Portuguese school? Uh, it's the fact, first time that you are connecting. Yeah. I got it. I got it. In fact, not. We have we are talking with some coaches. So it's not the first time. Maybe the okay. time of yeah. Really nice. So uh, my next question. 
Um, what about other countries? Have you ever talked to a school from another, another country apart from Portugal? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, could you please? Okay. Um, have you ever talked? Have, have you ever talked to a, another school uh, apart from Portugal? Other connections with other countries. You have you done connections no. with other countries? Yeah, right. A lot of them. Yeah, we have done the connection. We have connected with uh, another school. Maybe two three schools are there uh, in our list. Um, so we have connected other than those. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what do you think about Portugal? Do you have any idea about Portugal? What do you think about Portugal? Do you know tradition? Uh, in fact, uh, we know little about Portuguese. Uh, so whatever little we know about Portuguese is that uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, the Portugal actually uh, Portugal. Uh, I think the first people who came to India uh, for business, in fact, the Portuguese. So in the history, what we learned that about the Portuguese is that uh, the first people that came to India for business were the Portuguese. And we all know that the Portuguese were uh, famous for the intelligence. And uh, so they are uh, known for the many inventions. Uh, so uh, whatever the little we know about Portuguese, but we all know that the Portuguese is a great country. Mm -hmm. OK, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So now we have two more questions. So, just two uh, more questions, yeah. okay? So, uh, would you like to meet uh, with a school from Portugal again to learn maybe a bit more uh, about uh, our country? If you oh, like, if, would you like to meet again uh, with Portuguese countries to uh, to Portuguese schools to learn more about the, the, our culture? Yeah, yeah, sure. I think uh, I am ready. I am keen to interact with the, as many students as possible from the well, great country Portugal. So we are ready. We are always ready to <laughs> share our culture and tradition. Really nice. Yeah, sure. What about you? So our uh, last question is uh, Robin that's going to answer to make a uh, question. Uh, hello, my name is Robin. I'm sorry. I'm late. So uh, have you ever traveled for another country? Uh, as for my students, as for me, we have never traveled to any other country. So India is a vast country. I think uh, not even not even all my students travel to North Park. So mm -hmm. as you said, India is a vast country. So we have never been to even North, including me also. I have never seen Taj Mahal. <laughs> <laughs> Our meeting is ending, right? Oh, I think it was really nice to meet you all. Uh, your English is absolutely great, all of you. It is very nice to meet you. Uh, maybe we can connect uh, in September, October when we come back to school, okay? It was really a pleasure. We're going to say bye to all of you. Come on, class. Bye. Bye.